Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Art with Jay Monteith, and today I'm showing you a negative space alcohol ink painting. If you're interested in learning how to do this, then stick around, it's coming up right now. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'm excited to share this technique with you all about negative uh, painting with alcohol ink. And um, I'm gonna be sharing with you uh, the products that I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna be listing those down in the description box below. So if you wanna go ahead and purchase those, then obviously you can. Um, so these are the things that you need today. Obviously you will need your Yupo paper and you can buy the stuff in the pad format. Um, this is what I recommend. This is the 11 by 14. Yupo paper. Uh, so I'm actually using sheets of this today, um, bigger sheets, but I've cut them down. And then you can also go ahead if you want to purchase, I will list below the, the exciter pack from Panada. This is awesome. You've got all the colors that you need in here. And the only thing extra that you'll need is the cleanup solution and the uh, extender. Okay. And then what you'll need to create the negative a uh, portion of this project is contact paper. Uh, this is the part that you need and will use to create the negative component of your uh, painting. Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and started a little bit uh, already. And as you can see here, um, I'm gonna be doing an abstract. And this is um, cut out from this paper. So mark out your uh, Yupo paper, whatever size that you're working with, and put it on your whatever surface you're working on. I just, I'm using a self-healing board. I have one for cutting and one for using art. And then cut out the amount of paper that you need. So I'm just gonna cut across here some paper and you can either just um, start cutting away or you can mark it with a pen. It just depends on, you know, what you're creating. And of course you can use, you know, any type of design that you want. If you want to do like birds or flowers or boats or whatever. Um, and I use this particular contact paper with a design on it because then it's obviously easier to see. You can buy the one that's white, but then it's, I don't know, it's harder to see when you're actually putting it down onto the Yupo. Uh, if you're not quite sure and you don't want to cut just freehand and you want to do a drawing, then just I would recommend a Sharpie and then you can um, do your drawing, uh, whatever it may be, um, and then, you know, cut it out. So I don't really need to do that, but you can use a Sharpie or you can uh, use pencil on the other side and use it that direction as well. So I'm actually going to cut a piece out here. Uh, like I said, I've already started, so I'll just go with the flow here. And the great thing about this is it's um, um, readjustable. So you can put it down and then if you don't like where it's uh, sitting, you can reposition it. So I'm gonna do a few more pieces, maybe just right here to build up my uh, my page. And then I will put that down. So really this is kind of my style. I like doing um, the abstract work. And if you've seen some of my work before on you know my Instagram or um, my website, you'll know that this is sort of uh, usually what I go for. Um, so I think put that there and like I said, you can play around with it, cut it and move it around. Now it is a bit finicky to try and take off the tape, but once you take it off and again, it is a bit, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You just got to be very sort of slow with this and kind of let it do its own thing here and just make sure that uh, again you stick it down really really well but uh, like I said if you don't like it then you can just basically you know pick it up and move it around I'll do one more here maybe going this direction yeah this stuff is great and you can use it on other products not just Yupo paper you can use it on um, tile or any kind of non-porous surface 
I like I like it really because it's you know you can move it around and it's repositionable. So I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay, so I might just do one more here and then we'll start working on the ink part. Okay, I actually decided to leave that piece off. I changed my mind about putting any more pieces on. Um, but what I will show you is just how easy this stuff is to reposition. So I'm just gonna take a piece off so you can actually see. Let's pull it off here. Okay, so say, you know, I decided to put another piece right there, which looks really weird, but that's okay. And then you, you know, decide, oh, I don't like it there. You literally just peel it right off and move it somewhere else. It's great stuff. So um, that's how easy it is to work with. Okay, so I've, I'm going to go ahead and pick my colors, and I kind of have a color theme in mind. I'm going to be using... The, uh, some kind of like bluey greeny colors today. So I'm gonna be using uh, the Baja blue. I love this blue, it's one of my favorites. And then um, I've got some left of my sapphire blue. I think I'll start with that on the base. And then I have yellow that I'll mix so that I get like a greeny blue color. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I'm either gonna paint in uh, sections individually or maybe just do this part and then this a different color or maybe I'll just do a gradient over it. I, I'm not quite sure yet how I'm gonna go. But what I do know is that I'm gonna start off with, I think I'm gonna paint it on today. And I'm gonna use, I think I'll put some extender on one to start. So I'm just gonna drop some on and move it around here. Start with some on my page. So again, this just sort of makes it easier to work with the ink and it uh, has more of a, a translucent finish. So let's just go ahead and drop some on. And let's put some on here. I'm just kind of starting off with a bit of a base. So if you want this to be like a stone effect, which I might go for, we'll see how it goes. And okay, let's use some cleanup on here. some blue in with the solution there. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep messing around here until I kind of get the look that I want. I do like this greeny kind of color here, so put some extender on and kind of let that, that go flowy. done here with the way I want this part to look um, and then I think I'm just going to do a wash over the other parts so I'm just going to decide kind of like what colors I'm going to be going with here so I think I might I think I'm going to do some uh, just some wash at the top and see how that starts so we'll go ahead with some blue and I'm going to put some extender on there 
and then just start bringing it down. Now I do have some uh, color left over in the brush from what I was just doing and that's okay. Just go ahead and continue with your brush strokes. Okay, so I think I'm finally finished with the direction that I was going with regards to all of the colors and the overlays. So um, you need to let this dry before you peel off the contact paper and uh, we'll see what this turns out like. Okay, so I have gone ahead and finally finished removing all of the contact paper that was on my page. And upon doing so, I did notice that I had some bleed in some sections from where I had adjoined my individual pieces. So if you can work in a um, one piece stencil, then that is beneficial and you will avoid having to do the next step, which is any kind of touch up. Uh, but if that does happen and you need to use a product, then I would suggest you use Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White. It is a great product to use on UPO paper. And in this case, I would suggest using an angled brush so you get nice crisp lines where you have to do your touching up. Okay, so I finished touching up all the areas that required bleed proof. And for me, the next step at a later date will be to adhere this piece of UPO to wood panel and cover it with a layer of resin. So if you are at all interested in learning how to adhere UPO paper to wood panel properly, then I will leave a link in the video box today so you can check that process out. And if you did enjoy watching this video, then please like and share. And I wanna say thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time and enjoy your day and I will see you guys again real soon. Take care.